Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day, guys. Uh, again, this will be our continuation and PLC programming for an Omron PLC using a CX programmer. Okay, now guys, the scope of this tutorial is just to give you an idea how are you going to insert a new instruction or new PLC instruction like for example you need a timer okay now timer uh, if you are doing y delta soft starting then you need a timer for that one okay because later on i will be doing a y delta ladder program okay so but anyway i just want to give you a uh, beforehand i want to give you an idea how are you going to use a timer in your plc ladder diagram program okay now actually in this uh, this is my twin uh, saucepan control duty standby okay you have seen already how it works in my previous tutorial now as i said i'm just going to show you how are you going to insert the timer in your ladder diagram okay now guys uh where are you going to get the new instruction or the new plc instruction actually if you will go to your cx programmer then you can see some icons here so these are the icons for the symbols, okay? Then if you will go here, then it will show you new PLC instruction, or you can just type I, then it will give, it will uh, bring you to the new PLC instruction. Anyway, I'm just going to show you. I will click this icon, then drag it in my uh, ladder program, okay? The new instruction, Okay, as I said, uh, there are already built-in instruction in this uh, programmer, okay? Now, the built-in instruction for the timer is TIM, okay? TIM, which I guess is short for timer, okay? Now, details, okay? So, let's uh, talk about the details. Actually, there are two operands in a timer, okay? So, first operand, okay? will be the timer number, okay? So if you are going to move here, uh, so the first is operand number one is timer number, okay? Then the next operand, if you're going to click down below, this set value, okay? So the first thing you need to do is uh, specify the timer uh, number, okay? Now, uh, I want to show you the the one that I uh, inserted in my ladder program. So this is my timer, okay? So, okay, cancel. So this is my timer. Details, let's check the details, okay? So that I will show you. So the first operand here, operand number one, that will be timer, then it will be decimal, zero to 4,095, okay? So that is the... Uh, range so you can specify 0 to uh, 4095 okay so i'm using 0001 okay that is only equals to one that is the first operand here okay then the next operand if you come here then that is the set value now the set value is the like it will uh, count down before your timer will be uh, energize okay so that will be 50 so that is a uh, set value is bcd okay unit is bcd so you have to select that one so i'm using a value of 50 okay as you can see uh, you have to follow this uh, format so you should start with zero i uh, hash or this pound symbol then 50, okay? So the set value is 50. Now I'm going to show you how it works, okay? Anyway, uh, I will show you how it works later, okay? So that will be your uh, value for the second operand, okay? Then you just say, okay. Now it will be displayed here, okay? So the two operands is, the first one is this one, okay? Then the second one is this one. So the timer number is 0001, then the set value is, 50, okay? So actually, I think this is in like milliseconds, okay? Now, of course, in your uh, Y delta control, uh, you will be using a timer there, okay? So uh, when the timer is energized, 
first your uh, y delta will y delta contactor will run in the main contactor then after the set value then the uh, main and the uh, delta con uh, delta contactor will be energized okay so that is why delta reduce volt uh, reduce voltage starting okay now anyway uh, as i said the purpose of this is just to show you how are you going to insert the timer okay now actually what i have done here is i just uh, branch it into my uh, in this rung, okay? So meaning when I push the start, then that's the only time. When it is in auto, then I push the start, then my timer will be uh, energized, okay? So I will show it to you just uh, in a while, okay? So uh, let's try to uh, see how this timer works, okay? Now, actually, guys, uh, if you will do some changes in your ladder diagram program, you need to uh, download it to your uh, PLC, okay? Now, uh, you might get confused with download and upload, okay? For the download, your ladder program will be downloaded to the PLC. When you say upload, the program in the PLC will be downloaded in your CX programmer. Okay, that's the difference of download and uh, upload. Okay, now this one, since I just included this timer, just to show you how this timer works and how you are going to configure it or meaning how are you going to set the uh, operands. Okay, so let me first uh, I need to go online, okay? So come here, then you will have this one. Okay, now actually, uh, I need to transfer the, the newly inserted logic in my PLC because uh, I already downloaded it. The I, I have done some changes, that's why I need to uh, transfer the changes to my PLC, okay? Did you just say, okay? Then yes, yes, yes. I already explained what are these questions in my previous. Okay, so program downloaded to PLC. Okay, so in my uh, Omron PLC. Okay, now as you can see here, timer. This is the symbol. Then timer number is one. Then my set value is 50, 50 BCD. Okay. So now, since my controller is already in auto, I will remove it in auto, okay? As you can see here. Now it's not in auto anymore. I will put it in auto, okay? Then, uh, okay, let me, let me make it a little bit so you will see the entire, okay? Okay, that is the almost, okay? So this is my complete, uh, ladder diagram program, okay. Now I want to show you how the timer works, okay. So this that, that is the scope of this tutorial, okay. So if you will check the logic here, if it is in auto, which is already in auto, okay, I will remove, okay, I put it back in auto. Then I need to push PB start. Let's say the current should flow here, then it will come here. For the timer, the logic is if, uh, this one is true and this one is true, then the timer will be energized. Okay, so let me show you how the timer will be energized, how it will count down. Okay, so I will push, I will push my start push button here. Okay, start. So as you can see, my timer now is counting. Then after the time that the time it will show okay i've already done my part okay so that is how the timer will work so meaning it will try to count down okay let me uh, stop okay i stop again okay. again how the timer will work i will push the start okay then the timer is actually it's energized but the countdown is not yet done okay when it is done then that's the time it will show you that it's already uh the counting is finished okay so let me show you again okay so the timer okay i will push the start okay now as you can see 
it will count down from 50 to 0. Then that's the time. If, if, if you are using a timer here, we normally open a normally close contact. Then the normally close contact, it will be, remain closed. Then your Y delta contactor will be energized. Then after the timer or 50, is done, then the normally open, the normally closed contact will open and the normally open contact will close. That's the time your Y delta will kick in, okay? So again, guys, this is just to show you how a timer, how to insert a timer in your ladder diagram. So thank you very much for joining me here. I do hope uh, you have an idea how are you going to insert a timer in your Ladder program. Thank you for watching. Again, uh, if you are new to my channel, please help me promote the channel by subscribing. Thank you very much. God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.